everyone, and welcome back to the Drew Gamers Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Mono Ghost Type Challenge. In the last episode, we went and we took on various lol areas, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on. I don't know what. I don't. I should have got to the last one, but it's fine. We're going to be taking on the final gym, which is a water gym, ironically, even though there's ice everywhere. And I do want to get some trading up because. I think I'll be fine against the gym leader, but it's just that that feeling that you won't be okay. We got um, Thunderbolt for Idolin. Obviously, Sockham finally evolved as well, which is great. Sockham's now a fully grown Rock and Sockham. And Waylord, what a cut. I think Whale is pretty special defensive. Oh no, we might be alright. I mean, there's so many things you can do in this game, like, there's a few things I really, really, really want to do, but. I just haven't really got the time to do it, because I've got all the let's plays to record and. And other things, so I just want to do, make, make sure I do the main story and do the bonus story and a couple of edit other things, but that's about it. And then I can do all the other stuff on my own if I need to. Ludicolo. Why is Ludicolo flying? Is that all it speaks to? I actually forgot about Ludicolo being a possibility to find me in this gym. Mega Drain. Stop. So this episode will be... Obviously, take on the gym leader. Next episode will be... Victory Road. I'm trying to get through Victory Road, which will probably be a full episode, even though it's probably going to take me a really long time to get through Victory Road. I love those Shadow Ball. I'm sorry, Wallace. So yeah, the victory road, then Elite Four, but I'll probably do some off-screen training. And I need to, there's a couple of other things I need to do as well. I need to get some, uh... Dust Stones. For two of my members. Well, that's, uh, that's not important right now, because I need to trade them off a little bit more. So what we have to do is we have to take out each of the steps. I've messed it up. Damn it, I messed it up. It's fine. Usually I'm good at this. It's because I wasn't paying attention. All right. Let's see. So we want to go... Nope, messed it up. Oh no, maybe not. Can I walk diagonal yet? Yeah, we're fine. Just dicey. I know there's trainers, but... Okay, we're fine. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, there's trainers up here now, that's cool. I think I'm gonna mess this one up. This is different than what I remember. Zoomeral. Uh, 
this gym has changed. It's still about the same, but it's just like there's that extra little bit there. It's just like changing. This. Are we in Citrus? I know. Or in Berry. Play rough. Ah. No. I was say that shouldn't do very much damage because Gengar's uh, resistant to Fairy. this. I know I said I was going to fight all the trainers, but she got a whisk hatch. Oh no, Seedra. At least we're just Seedra. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Level 43 already. Nice. 122 special attack. It's really good. There's only one of the gym leaders Pokemon that I'm really sort of scared of. The rest of them just sort of like, okay, that's fine. Oh, smack the microphone. You're strong. Okay, um, so what I want to do is... Do that. And then we're going to go across here. Yay! <laughs> okay, I did it. I suppose how long this this is going to take. Allow me to... Oh, no. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wallace, the gym leader of Strawberry City. There's something about you. A difference in your demeanor. I think I sense that in you. What happened inside the Cape of Origin and what you did there? Our upcoming battle will make that all clear. Now show me. Show me the power you wield with your Pokemon. And I, in turn, shall present you... What? With a performance of illusions and water. What the heck? By me and my Pokemon. I've got five Pokemon, wow. I don't know why it's got a look this. I have all the water Pokemon in, in Hoenn. He couldn't, he couldn't have used something else other than a look this. I know what he's going to use next. Wish Cash. Yep. Little brat. That's not the Pokemon I'm worried about. Oh no, actually, I'm fine. Aha! Uh -huh. Just remembered something. <laughs> no, don't avoid I didn't mean to use uh, Will O Wisp either. I meant to use uh, Grass Dot. Because <laughs> even though it's. We're not super specially attacking, we can at least uh, Grass Dot it a few times to kill it. Please be enough. Yes, nice. That's crap. Thank you, Dr Driftwood. Mul Malai? <laughs> it might not ha Oh, it's got ice beam. No! Driftwood, no! <laughs> okay, I don't want It might not have it. I swear he does have it though. I think this is his strongest. I think Malotic is his strongest Pokemon. I could be wrong. Hydro Pump. Oh, thanks. I've taking that like 
like a mother hobbit. It's not gonna fight though, is it? Damn it, he's tied with the first round. It's fine, bring uh, I don't want that. I know he's gonna heal it, so there's probably no point in shadow sneaking it. <clears throat> We need Eidolon. We actually really need Eidolon. Yeah, so I knew he was going to heal up. That's a fun. More absorb, thank you. Please don't freeze me. That's a crit. What I'm scared of is it having recover. I know I didn't do a lot. But I'm hoping again I'm gonna get a special attack drop or two. Of course you do. Yeah, we're just gonna keep trying to whittle it down a lot of extra, so. Why is that not disarming points? Come on, Spe special defense drop. Uh, I don't want to switch in uh, Lamplight because Lamplight's going to get wrecked. Give me a special defense drop. One, it'd be great. Thank you. Right, I can now probably switch into Eidolon because it's probably going to use Recover. If it does, I'd be ready to fight the other It's goddamn melodic. Okay, so I've only got six Thunderbolts left now. But, well, whatever. I'm faster than you, so... Yeah, th thanks for the combined effort of the... Uh, combined effort of... Idolin and Sovereign. Celio. I am gonna switch, actually. Because I really want... Um, Idolin at full health. That's not idle. It's fine. I feel bad for driftwood. <laughs> it should be alright. To at least do some damage to it. I, I, I'm not expecting Hexalder to do that much here. Can't wait for it to evolve. Yeah, I'm going into that, that's fine. Uh, I need to get it up to like level, I think it was like 51 that I worked out that I wanted to get it to evolve. Healed, um, healed by Pokemon properly. That wouldn't have been an issue. Please don't heal it. Thank you. Now, we're on to the final, final hurdle. I have six. Oh, he doesn't have it. What? It must have been Juan. Because in Emerald it was a different gym leader. It must have been Juan that had it. Okay. 
might have. Never mind. Sorry. I think uh, Seekin gets Lightning Rod. No, I was expecting Kingdra. I was actually expecting Kingdra. <laughs> Fine with me. Nice. I want to learn Dark Pulse. Do I want to learn Dark Pulse? There's no real need to learn Dark Pulse, honestly. Because Ghost and... The only thing that Dark is super effective against is Ghost and Psychic. But Ghost is also super effective against Ghost and Psychic, so... It's not that useful, as powerful as it is, it's not that useful on Gengar. Bravo! A bravo! <laughs> I realize now your authenticity and magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find you find much joy in having met you in your Pokemon. You have proven yourself worthy of the Rain Badge. Accept it. Having that badge shows you fully uh, full of of all your Pokemon to every command you make. <coughs> so we have our final badge. You so never, and so you never forget the battle we shared. Here. I guess it'll be Waterfall. The HMA game you can say is waterfall. It allows you to smash into an opponent with the force required to climb a waterfall itself. Yes, it's a mighty move, and yet it also has a certain elegance and can sometimes cause opponents to flinch. Now, with the power of the Rain Badge, you will be able to use, become able to use this HM move, the waterfall to scale walls and cascading water. Many paths are now open to you. One path would be to take the Pokemon Leap. It is a goal that all trainers in Hoenn aspire to reach after obtaining the all HM badges. If that is the path you choose, then you must find your way in the island east to, to said to be the most remote in Hoenn, Evergrande. But if it is a difficult path you seek, you would rather pursue Pokemon completely Pokedex, then the rumors that reach for me on the wind and whisper that Paras approach to Luron has created more powerful Pokedex. Visit and return to new technology and have a little doubt you encounter more diverse Pokemon than ever before. I will hope that you bring, bring bright food and wait to you whatever the path it is you choose. <clears throat> you know, I think, um... Yeah, because it was really weird, like, all these National Dex Pokemon started appearing before, at once the weather changes. So, we're going to go to the Pokemon Center first. That was only 17, 17 minutes, apparently. What I might do real quick is I probably need to get out um Ducky Boos. Who am I gonna put away for now? I need Okay. I'm putting Driftwood away for now. Because I can teach Ducky Boos. Waterfall. So we come to the south. Imagine this is like the only way to get to like your town. You have to go underwater. You have to like, become a diver. Awesome. So we're gonna head over to where the Pokemon League is. We're gonna go over to Victory Road. And I might what I might do is I might start it. I might start doing it, and then it gives me less to sort of do in the next episode, so it's not as intense and long. So we keep going this way. 
That was a Bidoof. I'm just like swerving in and out of all these traders. There's all these water type people who are just floating about. Love this. I knew she was going to have a love this. So it just looked like someone who would have a love this. I'm going to have to do a lot of trading. A lot, 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 a lot of trading. I need to get at least up to level 50. 50 to 55. Um, don't want to fight any of you, to be honest, right now. I can use these to, for trading off screen and stuff, but I want to stop. I think, actually. Let's see. TNs, HMs. Yeah, Ducky Boos can learn Waterfall. I think Ducky Boos can learn Rock Smash and Strength as well, so I might just teach it to that. Um, oh, it's already got Rock Smash. Waterfall and Strength. Can you learn Strength? Yes, you can. Thank you. <laughs> poor, poor Ducky Boos. I'm just like using it as a HM slow. Because you need rocks. I think you need pretty much everything that you can think of in this victory road. I think you even need flash at one point, but flash is fine. It's only a TM in this game. Um, right, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Ducky Boos out of the way just in case there's any double battles. I'm going to leave Idolin at the front right now. Here we go. Whoa! This is where Wally was during that scene. So we just go in here, and we'll come out again. Just so we know, we can come here. We can fly here if we need to, if we need to go up and train and stuff. Alright, here we go, Victory Road. I could only go into about eight minutes into it, but it's fine. There's a gullet here. And pump are here. So it's straight away, it's strength. Ugh, annoying. Neon's here. There's a trainer there. It's hard to know which way to go in this week's road. Ladderous. I wonder where I get Ice Beam. Do I get Ice Beam here? I need Ice Beam. Level 49, so they're not bad Pokemon levels. So I could train up here, probably. I can't come up this way to lose that. It's possible it doesn't exist. That possibility doesn't exist. What have you got? Six left. So you only, just only, just only got these Pokemon. These post-game Pokemon. Sigilet support Pokemon. I love Sigilet. Everyone originally thought it was like an evolution of unknown. Because it has like the weird thing on top of his head. And Rhyperia. Okay. Uh, Sovereign. <clears throat> nice. Impossible, I lost? Okay, now that's the way we have to go, because all is up there as an item. Clefairy? That's two. Who knows, we might find another Pokemon that, that I could possibly use, but I don't think I will be using it. This is a full heal. That's gotta be an item over there. Has to be an item here. Pokemon number three is a tentacle. Level 40, so I could, yeah, I could get some decent experience here, I think. 
Did I dream it? I swear I dreamed like I picked up a lucky egg. What a horrible dream that was, that I didn't have one. It seems like infinite and a harsh road lives us with the name of victory. Probably a one Pokemon Frostlass. I had a Frostlass once upon a time, I assume that lasts very long. <laughs> Unfortunately. No, don't be faster than me. That's annoying. Come on. Come on, Idolin, you got it, you got this, you got this. Yes! Is it gonna be enough to take it out? Yeah. No! Why did I <laughs> Why oh, did it not take it out? Uh oh, she's got shot ball too. Uh oh. I don't come on, please, 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 please. Yes! I Dolan, you look so good. Your battle sounds fantastic. Right, we go down to here. I oh, know we have to go around the back of our line. Right. So you have to use flash here. But it should be alright to sort of just it should be okay to sort of get through. We don't really need flash. It's not like the old games where you couldn't really see what was going on. So you just move that there, move that out of the way. I've only got like a couple of minutes anyway. I think that was number four, yeah? Can I go this way? No, I can't go that way. <laughs> Dark Cry. Weirdly enough, Dark Cry is just um Dark. This probably sounds stupid because it's called Dark Cry, but PPL. Okay, cool. But you looking at it, it just looks like a ghost. Now it's my fifth Pokemon as well, so. Okay, so I'm gonna end the episode off here. We finally got a little bit into Victory Road. So that's really good. So join me next time on the episode of Dietrich Gamers uh, Pokemon Ghost Motto. Ah! <laughs> Um, I will see you then. We'll be taking on the rest of Victory Road. Bye, guys.